Hi, this is Christina. In this video, I'm going to quickly go through what AMQ Online is in a nutshell. In the past, if you're a developer, if you want to have a broker spin up in your environment, what you will need to do is you need to install the broker by yourself in order for you to consume from the broker or produce your message into the broker. But the problem is that you have to be very super smart to install the broker by assigning a number of resource or network connections. AMQ Online takes away the burden from the developers. The developer only needs to request for the destinations that they wanted to access. AMQ Online will automatically generate the backend resource in order to serve the needs of these developers. Then the destination will be created and returned to the developers. This applies to both topics and queues. So enterprise now can truly achieve self-service for their internal IT projects and development. Let's take a look at AMQ online in real life. Developer will have access to this console. In the console, developers will be able to create the destination that they wanted to have. They have different types to choose from and also different resource plans. Each resource plan will have different allocations of resource in order for them to spin up their destinations. The destinations are spun up on demand by the developers and also can be deleted by the developers. AMQ Online can also handle fluctuated traffic where it will spin up more resource when the demand is high and then release the resource when the demand is not there anymore. In summary, AMQ Online is the platform that provides messaging as a service, ability to scale up and down of your resource, and then providing the services on demand. It also provides multi-tenancy ability for you to provide service for a group of developers and also provide various different messaging protocols. This is how AMQ Online works from different users' point of view. As a developer, you request your destinations and inside AMQ Online, operation will then go ahead to find different plans. Different plans contains different resource allocation. Resource allocation can be large in memory, storage, or CPU, depending on your needs, as well as number of resource you wanted to create or instance you want to create. So when a developer asks for a destination, AMQ Online will look for the plans that is associated with this destination and then create the right amount of instance to serve this particular client. So when a user comes in and then start to define a destination, in the console, what's actually happening behind the scene is that AMQ Online will look for the plans that you have associated with the destination you wanted to create. For instance, in this one, it's going for an online queue plan where it's going to use that plan to create the backend broker or routers that is needed for, for this particular destination. And when it's up, it's ready to serve the clients. And that's it. Thank you. This is AMQ Online in a nutshell.